February 2nd, 2021. How's it going, guys? What you're looking at is the volts that's coming off the solar panel that I just put up a few days back. And I'm getting ready to pretty much start putting it all together inside now. Uh, the weather, you know, is kind of giving a little bit of a break. It's still cold out there, but it's not raining and stuff, so it makes it a lot easier. But anyway, right now, hold on just a second. It's 4.22 p.m. and we're getting around 18 to 19 volts right now off that panel. But I'm going to show you what I'm doing outside and then I had to cut a couple holes in here and I'm going to show you that too. So hold on. Okay guys, I'm back. And what I was going to show you is this basically is a 2 inch pipe. I'm going to vent here and they usually say when you're talking about water and we're talking not about water we're talking about gas or vapor but the thing of it is they say usually about a quarter inch per foot drop on a pipe so every foot a pipe should drop about a quarter of an inch okay so what I wanted to show you guys first is to do this you need a about a two and a half inch little hole saw to cut through here. But I want to show you guys how deep this goes. This is over three inches in. And that saw won't cut all the way through there. So a lot of people can't figure out how to do, do that even. What you need to understand is you want to have a couple little wood chisels. And once you take out this first part, about the first inch, and it gets full and you pull this back out, the first chunk usually will come out. Not always, but most of the time, and it did on this. I didn't film it because I don't have my uh, cameraman today with me on this part of it. But anyway, what I did after I got about this far in here, I took, and uh, after I went and I cut back into it another inch. Now it didn't come out. So then what you want to do is take that wood chisel and take a hammer and just kind of start chipping away a little bit into it at a time and it will break loose and that's how you can get that hole through there now this was this one here that i did and i haven't got this done yet that's why i said that's what i want you guys to see this was just done with a regular like wood paddle bit on it and what we're going to do we're going to use some uh insulation and uh, some uh, seal silicon seal around here now this isn't 110 volts going in here and this wouldn't be exactly the exact way you'd want to do this if this was 110 going in each but for just you know what we're talking under 24 volts or whatever this is not no big deal and this this will protect it and this is more insufficient to do what you need to do plus this we'll be able to run more lines through here now, depending on how many panels, if you want to put in, you might have to have a, a bigger, basically a bigger uh, conduit, like a line here, going in here like that for your PVC. Anyway, this gray here is actually ele electrical, and the other is just plumbing. That's what we're going to use for the vent part of it. But what else I was going to show you guys is what I did. I was looking at... Uh, a YouTube channel where they were showing how to do this on RVs and they make kits there's different places that make kits and who knows how long it take to order one of those and get it in so what I did I took a two inch cap and I cut a piece of flange off from that and this here basically I just cut that right there I don't want you haven't glued it yet I'm going to glue it and that's going to be my flange to go back on there. And uh, that will work good. Basically, the flange they had was about this big rectangle-wise. Now, what's going to prevent bugs, other stuff to getting in there? Get you a little vent. These vents here, you can pick up pretty much at any one of the hardware stores. They're a couple of bucks, two or three dollars. This prevents any kind of bugs or insects from getting in into that hole crawling in there and what we're going to do i'm going to show you here guys in a second 
this is how it's going to look when it's finished but i wanted to show you a little bit here before the weather like i said the last few days have, has not been too cooperative today was a good break really and uh do this real quick here like i said i'm going to glue that and uh if I can get this with my hand, I might have to stop it for a second, guys. Hold on just a second. Okay, I'm back. Now, I just pushed that up there. The flange is going to be up against here, but I'm going to, I'm going to silicon this around. And then, like I said, I'm going to put a little bit of insulation on the back side of it. Some of that spray. Now, this is going to protect. This screen here is going to keep the bugs and stuff out. And I'm just going to take this, and I'm just going to put it right here. We're just going to screw that on. And the one that they had for the RV actually was just about one third this size. So basically, you know, if you wanted to vent two or three, depending on what you're doing in a house or an RV, you could do it this way. And uh, like I say, this thing was less than $2. And uh, that's not bad. Anyway, I wanted you guys to see that. You can see where the sun is over here off to the angle from the solar panel and it's i mean it's like i say <laughs> it's pretty far west now so we're not really doing too bad but you also got to remember one thing too the volts do make a difference but the amps are going to make more so when you're checking this you need to make sure how many of those amps are coming through for the tilt angle and like i said i will get on that later on but I want to go ahead and get this all together and get everything hooked up inside the house first. But like I said, since it had been raining for the last few days, I wanted to kind of, and it had been nasty, I wanted to kind of get on this a little bit here. And uh, what I plan to do on this here, we're not going to leave it like that. We're going to get some, basically, we're going to take this and we're going to get some regular, like, little clamps with screws that hold these wires up against there like you're supposed to. But have not found those yet either. I'm gonna have to hit a couple more of the hardware stores. So, other than that, and remember guys, don't try to use, like see these here, some of these things here, I mean, it's okay if it's a solid wire or ground wire, but uh, the thing of it is, you don't wanna use a Christmas. I mean, you can find those Christmas ones anywhere where it's got two little nails in there but they can actually squash the wire. You don't want to do that. So when I get this done here on this, then I'll, I'll show another video. And I'm going to show you what I, how I'm going to take and take this uh, battery box and vent this battery. Now, I have some thoughts on that too. And um, how important is this? Yes, I do think it is important to vent it. But I went in and I looked at some calculations on the venting and the experiments that were done, I don't know. If you look at the vents that actually are cut out in the slots at the top of the battery top itself is only about a half an inch. And the lines that are cut out only give about a quarter of that area for breathing space. Now, and I know the box ain't completely airtight because the wires have to go underneath it. But, you know, this gas, like you're wanting to prevent any, you know, hydrogen gas, you know, actually from building up to where it could cause a fire. And I think they said on a 3.5 to 7, they were using a, a like, almost like a, a piston of like a lawnmower or whatever. When they did the test, it would ignite at that point. So, <laughs> I mean, that's getting a little bit more technical. I don't think it has to get that involved. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take two one-inch pipes and connect to this two-inch. And uh, I'll show how that goes later on. Let you guys see that. Anyway, just want to let you guys know I'm getting there. But like I say, it's been, the weather's getting better now, so... And uh, like I say, I will try to show a point, uh, get another video out here as soon as possible. Have a good one.